Born in the city of Yazd in central Persia at the beginning of the 19th century, during the reign of Fat Ali Shah Qajar, Ahmad Yazdi, the recipient of the Tablet of Ahmad, had the inestimable bounty of meeting both the Bab and Baha'u'llah, the founders of the Baha'i faith, during his lifetime. He intuitively recognized the exalted stations of both the Bab and Baha'u'llah and acknowledged the truth of their independent yet intimately connected revelations. For this reason, Ahmad Yazdi has come to exemplify the ideals of spiritual awareness, detachment from the temporal world, the world of names, and complete submission to what he perceives to be the will of God. The Bob's ministry ran its turbulent course in the short span of 19 years, from his declaration in Shiraz, Persia in 1844, until Baha'u'llah's public announcement in 1863 in the Garden of Rizwan, on the outskirts of Baghdad, an announcement fulfilling the purpose and promise of the Bab, who had heralded the imminent appearance of him whom God shall make manifest. The Tablet of Ahmad was written by Baha'u'llah in 1865 from exile in Adrianople, where he had been unjustly banished as a leader of the Babi movement. In poetic and allegorical terms, Baha'u'llah identifies himself as the manifestation of God whose advent was promised by the Bab. This tablet is especially significant because it was written at a time when the Babi faith, whose martyred author it extols as the true one from God, had been reduced to an underground movement following devastating attacks by the combined forces of an entrenched Muslim orthodoxy in collusion with the military power of the Persian state. Baha'u'llah had only two years earlier made the first public announcement of his station to a small remnant of the exiled Babi community in Baghdad, just days before he was banished still further to a remote region of the Ottoman Empire. Baha'u'llah had revealed two tablets entitled the Tablet of Ahmad, one in Persian and one in Arabic. The Persian tablet is a lengthy work revealed for Haji Mirza Ahmad of Kashan, the half-brother of the first Babi in Kashan, named Haji Mirza Jani, who was later martyred for his beliefs. Haji Mirza Ahmad became a follower of the Bab through the association with his half-brother, but unlike his brother, was unfaithful to Baha'u'llah. The tablet was addressed to him to provide spiritual guidance but unfortunately fell on deaf ears. It illustrates Baha'u'llah's loving kindness and forbearance in dealing with friend and foe alike. It exhorts the reader to arise and find him, hidden in the ocean of his words. O oh, my servants, my holy, my divinely ordained revelation, may be likened unto an ocean, in whose depths are concealed innumerable pearls of great price, of surpassing luster. It is the duty of every seeker to bestir himself and strive to attain the shores of this ocean, so that he may, in proportion to the eagerness of his search and the efforts he hath exerted, partake of such benefits as have been preordained in God's irrevocable and hidden tablets. If no one be willing to direct his steps towards its shores, if everyone should fail to arise and find him, can such a failure be said to have robbed this ocean of its power, or to have lessened to any degree its treasures? Ahmad Yazdi, the recipient of the Arabic tablet, was on the other hand an exemplary believer. His reaction upon reading that tablet provides a clue to its allegorical meaning and spiritual power. This is his story.